mighty Jesus, we give God all the glory and all the honor and all the adoration. We thank him for the privilege to be among the living. We thank him for the reason why we are here this morning, the reason why we've gathered in God's presence. Apart from today is Sunday, we are here because uh, someone that came to die for us has risen. And he has given us life. And that's the reason why we are here to celebrate. All over the world, they recognize something is happening today. And that's the reason why we too, we are celebrating. And I pray that the purpose of today shall be evident in our lives in Jesus' name. When I say the purpose of today should be evident, they should see in us the reason why we are serving God. When our life showcases glory, when they see us radiating, you know, in the glory of the Lord, men and women will come around and say, uh -uh, how I wish I can know your God. How I wish I can know what is making you, you know, to move forward. What is making you to be happy. I pray in Jesus' name, such signs, such grace will be released upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. So I welcome you this morning in the name of Jesus. So happy Easter. We'll give God the praise for the privilege. Hallelujah. This morning, uh, we want to uh, look at something from the book of John chapter 20. It's a long reading from verse 1 to verse 19. John chapter 20 from verse 1 to verse 19. I would like us to read together. Why standing? The reason is because we want to honor God. We want to honor Jesus. And we want to read about him. So, uh, We'll read 20, uh, John 21 20, to 19. We want to see something that happened from that scriptural passage. The Bible makes us to understand that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and he will be forever. As we all rise to our feet, let's read from 1 to verse 19. I think we'll take it one after the other. Maybe I'll take the first uh, uh, verse then you can take the next one. Let, as I go, the first day of the week, comment, comment, Mary Magdalene early when it was yet dark unto the sepulchre and see the stone taken away from the sepulchre. Can we read this uh, verse 2? And comment to Simon Peter. And verse 3, please, says, Peter therefore went forth, and that other disciple, and came to the sepulchre. Okay? Verse 4. <laughs> and verse 5. And he's stopping down, stooping down, and looking in, saw the lining clothing laying. Yet went he not in. Kilo was <laughs> And verse 6. And he gone got too much here. And the napkin that was about his head was uh, head, not lying with the lining clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Verse 8. That other disciple that had to run Peter. Do you remember? Go on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. Now verse 9. Don't go back. Don't go back. Verse 9. Abby? Okay. For as yet they knew not the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. And, and 10, please. Verse 10. Verse 11. But Mary stood without at the sepulchre, weeping. And as she wept, she stopped down and looked into the sepulchre. Okay? And verse 12. One at the air and the other at the feet. With the body of Jesus. And, okay. And they say unto her, woman, why weepest thou? She said unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. Verse 14. Verse 
verse 15, Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weep thou? Whom seeketh thou? She supposing him to be the gardener, said unto him, Sir, if thou art born him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. And verse 15, Jesus said unto her, And verse 17, Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascending to the, my father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father, and to my God and to your God. And 18, Mary Magdalene came. And together, verse 19, Let's have it in verse, uh, verse 19, please. One, two, and let's go. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in, and in their midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. Father, let your word bless us this morning in Jesus' name. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Thanks for the honor of God's word. Amen. While reading this scriptural passage, I was just laughing and I was so, you know, and the reason is because from the very first point, you know, we are reading, when you are reading a story, you should get the understanding and at times you pick some words from it that can be a benefit. You know, some people are just like Bebeto. Ha! Ah, he's no more there. He outran... G, uh, uh, what's the name? Peter. He ran ahead. Let me go and see. Where did he? Let me go and see what happened. Only for him to get there. The fear of the place enough. <laughs> did not allow him to enter. Kilo wasarifu. It's a word. I don't know whether you understand that particular. It was after Peter entered that he too now came in. When two of them went out, Mary stood there and was watching. Where can they put my Lord? Where can they put my Lord? And I'm using this medium to tell all women, a woman must be full of wisdom. You must be able to calm down. When you calm down, when you are not in, 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 in haste, you will see more than a man, a, what a man can see. And normally, for a woman to be quiet and to be watching afar, you gain wisdom. You gain understanding. And at times, some people say, ah, confess sorrow but the more you be you are quiet the more the lord will reveal things to you from this mary magdalene even peter which is the rock did not see jesus but because she was calm and was weeping oh lord where are you jesus have to appear to her i am here why are you still looking for me here the voice of jesus she recognized she looked back rabboni to all our women here, please calm down for the Lord. He speaks more to women than men. I won't lie. If you can calm down in his presence, you will, you will hear more of his word. He said you will hear a word behind you saying, go this direction. Go that direction. Let him speak to you. For those who have understanding. And to those of us who are always in haste. I want to see first. I'm telling you. At the end of the day. Getting there. Nothing to show. So I'm going to be more. 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 So don't be. me show show. The more you show, the more cooking wulo. Eh, mo kwa mo toba show goni mo kini recognize. Let it be a word of warning. Oro ben ye deep gon. You can get back home and read more. The Lord will give us understanding in Jesus' name. So let's go to what we have this morning. Because from where we've read, many believers today only celebrate Easter as a, as a festive season. 
but do not in any way understand the major reason Jesus our Lord resurrected from the dead. So many just see Easter and even the same thing is applicable to December. Yes, end of the year. Yes, Jesus is born in the Keneko and everybody will go and buy clothes. Do you know the understanding of Jesus died on the cross, he was buried and he resurrected. The reason why we are doing it, so many don't understand it. And until we understand, until we, we believe and understand the reason why Jesus resurrected, we may not know how to serve him. Until believers have the understanding of why Jesus resurrected from death, we will not know how to do or practice real Christianity. It's not all about, yes, we must keep chicken. You know, with time, we start. We've eradicated that kind of a thing in our house. Even during Christmas and even Easter. We've, the point is, the reason why Jesus died, what is the reason? I will show you this morning. It's all about putting on, ah, let's wear clothes. In fact, we don't even have those kind of thinking. Ah, and talk for me. Like this morning now, uh, ah, this will show. Hello, Jimmy. Kini ba, kini ba, get fit me. I don't know. Thank you, Father, for dying for me and coming out alive. And everyone can testify. All of that, the world, they know that something is happening today. It's in the calendar everywhere. Okay, the map was same hour. But more recognize it. Jesu ku osi jinde. So let's share it together. I tie to the message this morning. Why he rose. Let's look at it this morning. And the first point we'll be looking at is says his resurrection is a proof that he is the only authentic way to reach the only true God. Why he rose he is the only authentic way to reach the only true God. The only way. He said, at the mentioning name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, both in heaven, under the heaven, here on earth, should bow for the name of Jesus. And when we say, Father, in the name of Jesus, God gives his attention. Someone is calling me. Yes, he's calling me. In the name of Jesus, that's the only name that we can use that can get us into flow with God. Let's look at the book of John chapter 14, verse 16. John 14, verse 16. Let's look at it. Let's look at the word from there. He is the only true God. John 14, 16 says, And I will pray to the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. See, it was after Jesus left that this was given to us. But if you want to pray, so, you know some people say, Father in the name of... Eh, eh, eh. It was Jesus that said, I will give you the comforter here. But the only one, I will still show you where he gave us the name of Jesus. But the first thing that happened here was that Jesus was the one, when he was going, he said, I will give you a comforter. That I will talk to my father. I, do you understand? I will pray the Father and He shall give you a mini mole baolua soro. Ikpe te ba ti kpe mi te ba fe ba olon soro. A mini mole ba olon so kwe. Omo yin kpe yin o. I don't know whether you are getting me. Enola, onyola abi. Let's say, Yemisi is calling you. I will pray to the Father. I will talk to my Father. He is the only access in which we can call on God. He talked to the Father. I will send the Holy Spirit. Baba, if you want comfort at my help. When you pray in the name of Jesus, Father, I need, Jesus will be there. He needs so and so so thing. What he need, your mom? 
What you need, Doko? What you need, Entoma Comfort? What you need, Incombine? He will be there in between us. He's an advocate, intermediary. He stands in between. And that's the reason why those who have not given their life to Jesus, I wonder what, how they will be calling on God. But Allah no Lulua. Allah no Jesus. He said, There is no prophet that did not die. There is no God, people worship, that did not die. Only Jesus died, was buried, and came back to life. He said it even before it happens. He said, I will, I will go to my father. One see me, one call me, one see me, she will go back to my father. That's in the book of Matthew 12 40. I want us to, to even I've been trying to think over it since yesterday. Which other God that people confess, that people worship, has ever died and come back to life? At least some of us have been here in this world for 20, some, you know, before 20, let's say from one year old, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, like that. Have you ever seen any God? Anything that you can say, okay, you got on them, my Show me any of the God people worship today that did not die. Jesus is the only one that every other, in fact, who sent you He is the only true way to God. Hold on to Him. Do not allow men to talk you out of your faith in Him. Don't entertain any form of fear or doubt about him. I remember when I was small. There is a song we normally sing in our church. If I, if I, I was part of those who sang that song that day. If I suddenly wake up. How far? Daddy, her Bible is no clinical anymore. If I suddenly wake up. How far? Daddy, Bible is no more true. He says, I'll still believe you, Lord. You live beside me. Or something like that. It was in those days when we sit, we we'll begin to look at it. Assuming it did not come here. And in those days, I have that mind, even up to now. Tell me anything. Even up to now. Don't let anyone talk you out of him. And tell you it doesn't exist. There are some other gods that you need to serve. That will save you. Hold on to him. Hold on to your faith. In Christ Jesus. I wrote here, today, it is on the world calendar that Jesus rose. Don't doubt this reality for any reason. He's alive. They don't want us to believe that he died and he resurrected. And that's the reason why they are still covering it today. But I won't lie to you. The Jerusalem we've been going for years now. Some people have been going. saying Monsina, Montkineko, Montkineko. Kini won't try last year. Sophomore. And today, that place has become one of the places that... Everybody, hell, our all we Christian desire to get there. Ah, Jerusalem trip. Abi, Talafelo. If it's Jesus, it's Keneko. Jesus was Keneko. Jesus passed through the Capernaum uh, Keneko. Jesus was at the well with the woman of Keneko. Jesus, he, everything about it. And even those people that we are going to meet, they don't believe it. But they knew that he came, he died, 
and he resurrected. And that's the reason why today they are taking our money. Stylish, stylishly. They will say, Jerusalem trip. Uh -uh. You don't understand what I'm... They know indirectly. The only thing is that they don't want to accept. So one go what you are, what I will believe. I want to go what you are, Lord, or do. I want to go to the yearly mobile. Every three, three months. You want to go to Jerusalem 1.2. You want to go to Jerusalem 1.4. You want to go and see where Jesus walk on the water 1.8. They still came with some flyers. And your shake will read me. If you want to go to Jerusalem, if you sing. Let's see what you say. Do you know our home now? It has changed every three, three months. And we will, load of people will travel. I shall fellow will be team once upon once be Jesus. If be don't know, if be don't come again, if be don't see, see, and we are today, but I better see, but I don't So what she preserve it be? What then you cook, cook, gin day? Sherry, be, oh, what confusing. Is, in, is that not real? And they are making what we like of Shabby Lori Trip group who come. Ah, and a million you want to come, right? Probably Brother Femi would take. They came with the flyers. Ah, they came very close. You fit fly this and that. This have originally she want image. They want us to go and see where Jesus died and was resurrected. Can you please put uh, your hands together for Jesus? Hallelujah. Hmm. Hallelujah. So in today's calendar, Jesus died. He rose again. So please don't ever doubt the reality that somebody will tell you. You know, there was a day, a word crossed my heart. And I began to look at it. I said, she just, shalom, shalom, You know, some people will say, there is no God. So I begin to check. See, oba, see, long. Kilo de cloud do you You know, I, I don't know whether you used to think over and over. I won't mean ni bonon shonlo. The rivers, the oceans. Who can even talk about? The Bible says from the beginning, if you go and read the book of Genesis, you will understand what I'm talking about. They he packed the water on one side. Osti consoke. Oti concile. Oti sapakon. And that's the reason why the lucky people are having issues. She mo come at tea. But she ain't tea. I want a own tea. I want another country. No tea. He will not tea lo. Ah, he ain't deal. And you are not telling me that there is no God? Let me not talk about Jesus. There are so many reasons why we should not be alive. So many reasons why we should not see today. But somebody, I believe somebody is somewhere. You know, at times, maybe any of our, our brothers or sisters misbehave and they, they come around to tell my husband and they're apologizing and this and that. What used to come in my heart? Even if he wants to take any decision to be hungry, how will be the one, man of God, please calm down. So, you know, at times, when we now remember that, ah, okay, we are begging an earthly person and somebody is there. Trying to do what? Calm the person in charge. Okay? And calm down. Definitely there must be someone somewhere that when you committed that abortion, that will be telling God, who she need no more? Who she need no more? Who she need no more? You know, Edley, I am the one doing that here. And at times I will now sit down and be saying, there must be somebody which the Bible called Jesus that will say, Father, uh -uh. she needs another, another, another chance. Please look at my hand. In the, at times, I will tell my husband, Look at all your sacrifice over these people as you are bringing them up. Look at some of the things you've went through. Look at when some of their, some of their fathers will come around and will be threatening you. Now, to what it means, behave. She won't fear she, yeah, yeah. She won't eat so quick, Odie. Odie won't call you. 
lo se ti won danu so at times i will now sit down and be saying god ah thank you for jesus thank you father ti o ba nse jesu hello me ti sese to ye kon so pe o ye lo ju so so do ai mo ya won pastors ton ti pa yan ri ton tu ma mu pray ko fun ton mama so se mo pe won trace won wa mu won mo somebody somewhere is saying father but we are saying here if i want to revisit it again i am more yeyan to ti ma fo kunrin sako but when the mercy of god comes around and say it to funny chance i mo yeyan lo mi to ti tolorun fun lowo there are so many of us that we see money but how to f- owo ton mo kekere ba kokori o fin jakara ati mu gogo wo ti no je but the mercy was to say no jesus we say father have mercy e je ko tu ko 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 wo e tu te owo le kan si o ma mo lo o ti gbon bayi and that's the reason why we are enjoying what we are enjoying can somebody say thank you jesus don't doubt his reality for any reason jesus is alive so we've seen the the the, the first reason the first why he rose he resurrected you know his resurrection is the proof that he is the only authentic way to reach the only true god and let's see number two number two says his resurrection is our access into the new covenant his resurrection is our access into the new covenant Do you know that God changed his pattern of relating with man in this covenant? Man became God's children the moment they became born again. We now have a father to children relationship with God. The resurrection of Jesus gave us the access into the new covenant. In those days, there is fear in serving God. You know some of in those days I read one in the bible who can she mistake he came in on the altar with strange fire the fire spark and burnt the those children to death in in our generation our children can come on the altar and play they they burn, they no burn them well in those days you now put children and they are coming to come and play on the altar you know some of our children like coming up here won't be one that like you you know my spark are they your mother that's the relationship between us and God. If you are unclean as a woman, you are bleeding, your monthly flow is coming. You dare not come to church. Why church? And some still practice it till now. But because of the coming of Jesus, his blood eradicates all those things. You can f- come freely to his presence. Obe erudani, obe erudani. You are welcome. Oh, she flow, she flow. You are welcome. Our children can come and release. You know, come on the altar, appre- you know, dance and jubilee. You know, at times during the crossover, some of our brother, our guys in the street, they will come, they will be dancing, they will be, they, they will be somersaulting also. One be, eh? One share way. Some way of coming to God's presence. You are coming, you don't know whether you go back. You lie, you must first go and confess your sin before coming to the church. You know, some of us out of it and say, Ah, ah, oh, they're pressing me. Ah, be much feel. I hate beans. I'm my mind this morning. So the gas was so much in my stomach. So, you dare not do that in the Old Testament. But the coming of Jesus is resurrection. Do what? He eradicates all those. He erases. So the covenant of father and son is not there. You can stand up in the middle of the... There was a day. I, I don't know. I was saying something. And my husband said, ah, ah, why, why do you pray that kind of a prayer? Ah, I said, what is your own? He said, ah, why will you be saying that to God now? Ah, I said, he's your father. He's my father. 
the way I talk to my father is different from the way you will talk to your own father. He now say, huh? I say, yes. What I mentioned before, and I repeated it, Lord, so, so, and so, so things have not been done in my life. What are the proof of my serving you? Can you please show me one? So my husband got angry and said, ah, why will you be asking God that? I say, it's my father. Our relationship with him may be in a different from someone. You know, I don't know whether you are getting me. Like three of them, now I have three children. The way they can relate to their father is different from each other. He was telling me something yesterday night in the kitchen. He said, Pastor, I said, something happened to me. I said, I will tell you. When you travel, oh, you know, he said, during the mock of one of our daughters, I said, we came back. I was so tired because I did not sleep over the night because of her. So, when Mina came back, she said she just came closer. That I did not know. I didn't prepare. Pastor MC, you know me. I was not prepared. This girl just came very close to me and pecked me on my cheek and said, thank you, dad. He said, I felt like I want to enter into the... That I, I was so... That I was not... Because he... Uh, grade one. He said, I was so ashamed that... What is wrong with I we say, but the other person don't used to do like that. I said they are not the same. They re, this, the way they relate to you is on a different, you know, from different angle. Same thing is applicable between you and God. At times I may say, Father, oh Lord, ah, me shall like it. My husband will say he doesn't talk to God like that. I said, That is me. And do you know I'm the last one of God? Abi, women, you can talk to him. Can you see Mary Magdalene sat there? We are the last born of God. And as he said, where do you now put my God? It was, she was crying. Jesus just had to appear. I said, my daughter, Mary Magdalene. Mary, she recognized the voice. The relationship of Mary and Jesus, is it not different from Mary, from Peter and Jesus? It's different now. But the, the reason, the, re, the Jesus, his resurrection make this kind of a thing to be possible. We can relate to him. We can come closer. It's because Jesus did what? He rose from the dead. He came alive. And he helped us to relate with him. And that's the reason why I can say, I, can, I will talk to my father. As I'm going to give you a, 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 a comforter. Someone that will comfort you. Spirit that will comfort you when you are down. Because I won't be here any longer. He gave us a relationship between us and God. Please don't misuse that opportunity. Ask him anything. You have an open check. The reason why he resurrected is because so that we can enjoy the covenant. So, Emma, you, Emma misuse it. Emma, Emma shall I low? Let me use it that way. Use that relationship. Talk to him. Daddy, I need to change all my ways. Daddy, I need, that's what we women ask God. If you don't understand, you men will be saying, morning for Kinecon. We don't ask all sorts, have you? We ask, Lord, I need to change some of my things. Let me call it. I want to build this. But women will first talk on the way I, And God used to answer them. Men cultivate the same at, uh, attitude to your God. Allah, show more. Who they see a name come back? You will see. He will do it. He's a faithful father. The relationship between us. He wants us to ask. The Bible says, even up to now, you've not asked anything. Some of us are fifty plus. ever? So definitely start asking. It will be just with Nashem Mark Eleni. Ask a a a call list to call. Begin to ask. You will see it will answer. So, the second reason why Jesus rose from there is because he, 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 he gave us the access into the new covenant. The relationship of a father and children. Let's answer this one. Let's see what the covenant brings to us. What the covenant brings to us. I will rush a little. A there is no more need for blood sacrifice like it was done in the old covenant. Today, the blood of Jesus is what brings mercy. First Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. 
1 Corinthians 5, 7 says, There is no more need for blood sacrifice. <coughs> Look at it. 1 Corinthians 5, 7 says, Put out therefore the old living, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are on living. For even Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. No more need of blood sacrifice, as I've said before. Because if you must come to church after your period, you will come and sacrifice something. Blood, you to to wale. Ah, what's your mistake in your commit adultery? You know, at times when some people say, ah, man, a woman, a woman should not wear what a man is wearing. My, my, one of my daughters was asking, what will I use to answer them if they ask that question? My husband answered, I said, so, 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 so place in the scripture says, a man should not put on what a woman is putting on. Today, we, are, we have seen so many. Men are wearing, they are doing their hair. Wearing, hearing. Different things that women are doing, they are doing. One, she take one. And even in the same scriptural passage, the Bible said down, after that word, the, the next verse says, even there should be uh, this uh, roofing sheet that we are using on our can it, it should be so so and so so thing. Are we following it now? Different things. Gerard, Pan, Abestos, Abigilaman, Orishidishin, come. What then you load you to your kel? Oh, you can't follow, you know. Or to us, another one. Too funny. You know, people don't pick the ones that will benefit them, they pick the one that doesn't have meaning. If they should meet a woman that is has been disvagined, kinoni koshi komu leole babe konso ko pa. But because of Jesus came, he died and he resurrected. The Bible says all those things has been cancelled. I have seen it, a disvagined lady. By the time she want to get married, one last day of sweet will because she became virgin again because she gave her life to Christ. It has happened several times. Igbaimo. Ni oluwa shekini. Lo foju foda. So, the covenant brings to us the New Testament. The moment you are, you are, you are, you, you, you repent, you receive the mercy of God by the blood of Jesus. Lord, I'm sorry. I have, I have sinned against you. I'm sorry, Lord, have mercy on me. The blood of Jesus. As clean as that. Let's look at number two. Let's see what the covenant brings to us. Unlike the Old Testament, that men could, could not have direct access to God without the help of priests and prophets. But today, even born again Christians have, you know, have a what? Have a direct access to God. Today, God can speak to you directly. Because of what Jesus died and he resurrected. No more. What do you mean? What do you mean? Shock do do nikin fe. Bukwani. Giga. Kukuru. Oni mustache. Oni mustache. O gen utopo. Oni utopo. O dudu. The relationship between us and God has become cordial because Jesus died and he resurrected. We have direct access to God. We can call on him. Father, show me who is the person. Let's look at the book of Acts of Apostle 9, verse 10 to 12. Acts of Apostle 9 to uh, 12. Sorry, Acts of Apostle 9, verse 10 to 12. See how he spoke to Ananias, a disciple, in Acts 9. He said, and there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias. And to him said the Lord in a vision. Ananias. And he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. And verse 11 to 12, we want to use, okay. And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street, which is called straight, and inquire in the house of Judas for one called Saul of Tarsus. For behold, he prayed. He said, And see it, and as he seen in a vision, a man named Ananias coming in, putting in his hand on him that he, he may he might receive his sight his sight now 
The Lord speak directly to Ananias. Go and do this. Do you know God can do the same? Because of the blood of Jesus. Because Jesus resurrected. You will have direct access. He can talk to you. He will reveal things that supposed not to be revealed. I don't know whether you understand me. He will reveal it because we have a covenant with him. Hallelujah. He was not a minister. He was just a disciple. Ananias was not a pastor. He was not among the disciples. Ananias got there. And what the Lord said to him in his vision was real. He met it that way. I've told you severally, and my husband have shared it severally. When we are believing God for uh, the fruit of the womb, it was in my dream. They showed me. You will use so and so. You are not using any drug. You are using herbs. And one thing about me, I hate anything white coming. I hate anything you put on a dredge and you are not coming to me. I hate all those things because I saw my mom do that. So right from when I was small, I hate that kind of a thing with passion. Before I gave my life to Jesus at 11. You can't just come before me and be shaking and tell me. I will look at you and say, you're all empire. It has been my mindset. It may be true. But do you understand? I have that inside of me. So I don't believe it. Or you now come and say, or oh, share it. I have seen several how they mix it. My mom was a prophet. So I have seen it. How they mix it. All the perfume and all sorts. I know it. Do you understand my point? Inside our house, they will come. People come for vision to be revealed. I don't, she, she knows right from time. And she doesn't disturb me. When I gave my life to Christ, she, they released me. But it was later I, I went through hellfire. But then, what am I saying? Now for somebody to now open my eyes. When I, get, when I got married and said, I don't know whether you understand me. Now I have to come to my husband. When I wake up, I say, I saw this. What am I going to do? He said, I said, ah. No problem. I went to my senior brother. Do you have any way I can? He said, I said, I need money. My husband doesn't have money for that. He said, eh, kilo wa fellow vision. Money mon walago. Yeah, missy. On walago. King fun elo wo falago. Willingly, my brother brought us money. He said, Allah. He now gave me the money. So when are you going? I said, I'm going now. So I got there. Do you know what shocked me? I have been seeing real, raw vision. The set of people I saw in my dreams, we are the people I met on the seat. What they gave me in my dream was what they gave me physically. And that was what gave birth to the first child. Even when I became pregnant, I didn't know. No. Because I was Oshin Shebiala. Even not in Oshin Dabiala. God still speak. Because of that covenant between us and Jesus. That Jesus has created between us and God. He can talk to us. Whether you are a pastor, me city continue shepherd, as in being a pastor like that. But seeing such, it shows that he's real. He talks. He reveals things if we allow him. So a disciple is a follower of Christ. Okay, the explanation. And number C on the covenant that the blood of Jesus brings, and the covenant, you know, what we have we had that. What the covenant brings to us. Number three. In this covenant, we, we have grace. But in the old covenant, there was immediate punishment for sin. In Leviticus chapter 10 verse 1 to 3, we may not be able to read because of our time. And 2 Kings 5, 24. I mean 27. Leviticus 10, 1 to 3. 2 Kings 5, 27. Immediate punishment comes whenever you sin. But today, we have access to grace so that we can repent. Do you know that grace is the major reason the Holy Spirit can stay in us? We have access through grace. Ori of ewa. Ah, ho shubun biba. Eje ka fun lori of esi. Ah, ho ti share yon de point. Eje ka fun lori of esi. It's because of the 
resurrection of Jesus. Now, this season that we have, you find ourselves, if you ask anything in his name, the cause we are marking the resurrection of Jesus is ready to give. Make use of this moment, this season. And you will see God coming to show up for you. And number, th- no, uh, okay, okay. I think we are done with that. On His resurrection is our access into the covenant. So we've treated what covenant brings to us. Now the third part under why he rose. You know, I told us the first one is resurrection. His resurrection is a proof that he is the only uh, authentic way. Number two, his resurrection is our access into the covenant. Do you understand? So I explain what covenant brings. And the third one under why he rose, his resurrection makes him our everlasting high priest. His resurrection makes him what? Our everlasting high priest. Jesus our Lord is seated at the right hand of God speaking in our favor. If he did not resurrect, who would have done this for us? And this is why you should never be afraid. He is your lawyer before the throne of God. He is a lawyer. Somebody will ask, what is the job of a priest? Your adv- advocate, your lawyer. The one who can intercede for you. And in the book of First Samuel chapter 6 verse 1 to 2, it shows to us that Samuel was the one who goes to God. He makes an atonement. He asks for mercy in our time. I need to go to that's the reason why when you commit anything, they will ask you to go on the altar. In those days, I'm asking, how many if you say yeah. Don't talk to anybody, don't touch anything, don't do anything in those days. But these days, eh? The mercy of God. I used to tell my husband would say, Amy can not share. Hello, sorry, Pepe. I'm not the one. Go and meet him. He's your father. Tell him you have uh lost of him. No, no, ah, he's true. He's not, he's not my only father. He's your father too. Talk to him. That you have... <laughs> so, you know, some people say, Oh, you yeah, can not punish me. Oh, you can not put in suspension. Oh, you yeah, can not shake me. If you intend to see punishment, it's your dog when But one-on-one with God, he will have an encounter. 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 He preach. Hamas, it happens to us when we were very young. Anytime they are preaching like that and the preaching gets to some stage, you start crying. One no leg, but then you can come That is the relationship between us and God. He will allow us to have an encounter with Him. So when you sin, you don't need to talk to anybody. Oh, my fierce punishment. Oh, good. Oh, what's your shit? He's a merciful God who we'll sentenced you on the altar. Go and meet with your God. You know, some people, will, they will become pregnant. And during the uh, delivery, they will not be asking God for mercy. They will be crying. We don't use to, we don't use to put our mouth in such. My husband will say, And God is merciful. If you tell me, Matthew, be told you will one man be one man ye. Because if you go with this sincere heart, Lord, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I don't know what came over me. Don't say you don't know what happened because you were there when you were removing your clothes. You don't need to say that. You just go on the altar. You want to say, I want to go on the altar. I want to put shame. I want to tie up. I want to tear off or see. Do you understand the point? You go and meet him. He's your father. He doesn't give you an answer to be doing anyhow. Because at times, the door of mercy used to close. So, Am I getting too sorrow by being here? The door of mercy used to close at times, and mercy will not speak. And he said, Finish case. We've seen a case like that. Eh? Ah, I remember something now that we were praying for somebody. And my husband came and said, Pastor MC Muni, when he left one, titi. Oh, my lonely. Muni, ha! Ha! I was crying. He left one, when he left one, titi. Who she said, Want it to you? Oh, man, to you. Matta Wobon got to my Jackie Lekwa, not to you. Jesu Waloto, Okufuwa. He died on our, on our behalf. But please don't put your hand in anything that will make the door of mercy to be closed. Every time I used to tell him, Father, the Bible says, I will not have mercy. On whom I will have mercy. So definitely, there are some set of people, Conche Jubelo, 
kon bola to ke sile the mercy is open but ma ma boju eje o ma je oju e o the door of mercy can close be careful the way you live your life be careful what you say what you do your reaction your action because door of mercy do close May he not close against us in Jesus' name. Shall we bow our heads this morning? As we begin to call on our comforter, we we'll call on our, our priest, the high priest, which is Jesus Christ, our advocate, our lawyer, the one who intercedes on our behalf. Can you use that privilege to ask him what you want this morning? First, tell him, Father, I you know I may have fallen short of your glory in one way or the other. I'm, I have some mercy. This season, to, that we are marking your resurrection, Father, let your mercy come on me. Oh Lord, let me enjoy your mercy. Hey, my advocate, my, 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 my lawyer, Jesus, on my behalf, let your mercy speak. Let me enjoy new, new level, new era. Hey, turn the situation of my life around for good for her eyes to see. Hey, that by this time next year, of this festive season, to celebrate the resurrection of you, Lord. I shall come forth with testimony. Hey, hey, my advocate, my high priest, my lawyer. Hey, these are the things I want, Lord. I want this, I want this, I want this. Do this in my life. The whole eyes will join me to glorify you, Lord. Father, let me know this season for good in my life, in my home, in everything that pertains to me. Oh Lord, we give you praise. Shall we begin to bring our prayers to a close? We give you praise, Lord. Thank you for being a faithful father. Thank you for dying for us on the cross. Thank you that today marks the resurrection day. Oh, hey, that we are looking for you there, Lord. But you were no more there. <laughs> you have risen, Lord. We can see it. We can see your works all over the world, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for us. Thank you for bringing us closer to the Lord. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.